Hey, y'all. I've had a lot of you ask me about my bed. Where's my bed? I have a no-build bed. And I pull it out every night. And I put it away during the day in the morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I do it. Over here is my sleeping bag. Now, I want to explain real quickly. I go from, here's my front seat. I go from my front seat and I go to here. But this takes up room. There's a lot of room back there. I also have my garage back there, which is about this wide. And then I've got these drawers, which are about this wide. So I am eliminating, let's see, from here to here, I'm eliminating this much space. If you're taller, you can redo your van differently than what I'm doing. But I'm 5'3". And so this works for me. That rhymes, doesn't it? <laughs> I should make a poem about it. So this works. Now, I will mention that there's a little bit of space in between my front seat. My passenger seat is out. A little bit of space in here. Now, at night, sometimes, if I'm on my side, my bottom leg goes straight and my top leg is on some pillows. Sometimes my foot does extend into here, maybe about like that, yeah. I mean, it does, I keep it clean. I've got a little towel down that, you know, I keep this area, I keep my van very clean, I really do. If you've been watching me a while, you know that. I'm, I'm always cleaning, I'm always shaking things out. And if you, Let's put this here. If you haven't been watching me for a while or you're new, I put these towels down. They're really bath, they're bath sheets, not bath towels, because they're wider. I have two of them. I have one here and one over here. And I have a blanket, 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 blanket. And then I have a nice carpet in here. So it's very comfortable. And it's very, um, it's very plush. I mean, this is, this is easy just to sit on here. Um, it's comfortable for me. I know some of you have knee issues or you have leg issues or you're heavier, or you're taller. For me, this works. So I wanted to show you that little area there that sometimes my foot does extend out into there. So let's get down to it. I'm going to pull my bed out and I'm going to show you how I do it. I'll show you first. I'll explain. I have a nice blanket over here and I put this here because I want it to look nice. I'm in here during the day. It's, it's a clean van. I wash it periodically often. I, I wash my hands all the time. I do not bring my shoes back here ever do I ever bring my shoes into my living area. If I'm coming through my front door, I take my shoes off and I leave them there by where the, the, the pedals are. If I'm using this, I'm boondocking and I take these bins out, I take my shoes off out there. And I have usually a little tarp if I'm out boondocking and I just put them there. Never do I bring my shoes back here. Mm. Yeah, there's people spit out there. There's dogs that walk around and pee out there. I do not want that in my living area. I'm very particular about my van. Now these two pillows here, I use in my bedding. Okay. And these are my knee pillows I use for my knee. When I lay on my right side, I can put them on my knee. I can rest my knee on that. But in the, in the daytime, this is my living room. In the morning, this is my where I drink my coffee. After I make my coffee, put my stove away, I can sit here and drink coffee, make notes. So this is an all-purpose van. This is my no-build minivan. So let's pretend it's night out. It's getting dark out. And 
first what I do is I wash up. I get my collapsible bucket and I wash my face. I wash all over and then um, put lotion on, brush my teeth. I'm ready to go. I want to get in my sleeping. I want to get in my sleeping mode. So maybe I can take this kind of park my phone up right there it's a nice little parking spot maybe watch part of a movie a youtube video mini van lee <laughs> yeah um yeah and so i can kind of watch things and i can be in my bedding and then when i'm ready to go to sleep i just turn them off turn off my lights i also i close all my all my windows are closed they're just closed okay but first i'm going to show you how i get this out you'll have to bear with me i'm just going to do it and I'll try to explain what I can. So I take one of my pillows and move it off to the side because I want to get in here. I will mention, <laughs> I know I got to keep going back and forth to show you guys. Let me see. There we go. Let me take my dog off. I've had him ever since I started. So I, I kind of park him over here Okay, now I've got a bungee that's going across here. It holds everything on very tightly. So let me get my bungee off. It's connected right. Move this over. There's my bungee. I bring it over here and just drop it there till morning when I put them all back. I take this and I push it over. So, I'm revealing my pillows, my blankets. Now, under here, I have some extra towels. In case these get dirty down here, I do shake this out every day. In case these get dirty, which in like three or four days, they do get dirty, I'll grab a couple more towels. But they don't, I don't use my towels for washing up or taking showers um, at the gym or anything like that. I use microfiber, I understand that these would keep everything too wet in here, especially with uh, winter here. Okay, so what I do first, this is unbungeed. This is my sleeping bag. It's very puffy. And I bring this out. I'm going to have to go back and forth so you can see. Now, is... I have them tied so they stay. I made these myself because I wanted them to be very soft because I don't want to hurt this. I don't want to do bungees and things like that. I made, I cut these strips. This is um, fleece. I had some black fleece and I cut strips and it just stretched and stretched till it can't stretch anymore. And I've got strings and it keeps them really nice. So what I do, I mean, I just, I'm very organized. What I do, put them together and I park these in the same spot every single time. It's just the way minivan rolls. She has a way that she does it. And she parks it right here. That way in the morning, when I roll back up, I know where it's at. Out of sight and it's um, well taken care of. So what I do, is I take it here and I just roll it out. It's a little bit, goes up a little bit. This is an extra large sleeping bag. There we go. See, this does require having good knees because I'm kind of scooting around a little bit. There we go. It rolled all the way to the end. It's right here where my um, seat is. It's right here. There we go. Okay. So we got that down. My next thing is I'm going to put my sheet on. And what I do is I keep them parked right here. Out of sight. Neat. I don't... This is a... It's like a microfiber. And I use a lot of microfiber. When I first started as a nomad, I realized and I heard from other nomads don't use cotton it in the winter it absorbs 
um, moisture and then you've got all this moisture in your van. So I got a lot of microfiber. It's just, a, I got this at Walmart and I just, it's, it's a, it's a twin fitted. I just get this together. I know that this is the end of my sheet because it's got the big tab and I hook it, go around. There we go. Just tuck it in. This is a fitted sheet. push it all down you getting the idea here so now I just have a bed right here I know it seems crowded but it's really not and I hook the little you know the fitted part around it it goes very quickly I do this I've been doing this for the same way I've been doing this for five years <laughs> yeah okay so look at I've got my bed this is very comfortable this is my bed here we go so next I'm gonna start putting my pillows down watch I just grab it this is the bottom one it goes right there Here's another smaller pillow, goes right there. Now, if I'm gonna set up, I put all three right here because I wanna set up. Push this back a little bit. Now you can see more of this, this separation thing for my back. You can see it. This um, windshield, that's a very cheap, very thin, windshield cover it separates this area from the garage area i like it that way so here's a blanket this would be a one blanket night i always use this one i have it ready to go and i pull it down it's been kind of cold in flagstaff so i usually use a two blanket night these are two wool blankets if it's really cold in the winter it's a three blanket night i have never needed in Arizona, I've never needed anything more than the three blankets. When I was in Ohio one time, I had to get inside my sleeping bag. It's a minus 25 sleeping bag. Now, I will tell you, a minus 25, the rating stands for, at, if it's minus 25 degrees, you won't die. You might not be comfortable, but you won't die. <laughs> So I figured I would not, I'm not going to be in minus 25 unless I was in Minnesota or, you know, Russia or something like that. But I was in a, in a 17 degree, um, temperature in Ohio one time and I had to get in my sleeping bag and I was comfortable, um, as far as being cold. I don't like being in a, um, sleeping bag. I feel trapped in there and I can't move around very easy. So I don't like to get inside of it, but I do like to sleep on top of it and then have it if I do need it. So, um, somebody had mentioned, well, why don't you get a wider sleeping bag? Well, that might be, but I don't think it's going to fit in here like it, this one. So I'm not going to do it. I rarely have to get in there. I'm usually now in Arizona, winter or summer. In the in the summer, I'm usually up here. I'm going to be in northern uh, Arizona. And if it's winter, I'm going to be in southern Arizona. So I've got my blanket. I kind of put the purple against me because it's so soft. And I leave the white Sherpa part out. So that's the way I do it. And what I do is I just take my my blanket and push it up there. And then, let me get, so you can get a good view. And this is how I sit. And I can sit here at night, drink, make some tea, drink some tea, put my phone right here. And I have two phones so I could be texting somebody if I wanted to but I'm using it for my video and I can drink my tea and I can relax. It's 
very cozy. I'm telling you, it's cozy. I don't mind these bins right here. And I don't mind this right here. This is enough room. This is a twin size for a twin size bed. I'm not going to, if I was in a build out, I would feel, for me, I would feel a little bit confined. Like maybe I'm going to fall out or my pillow's going to fall off. Um, this way, um, I'm, I'm on the ground. Oh, I did mention that what I do then is I put these pillows, both of them, right here. I'm usually sleep on my right side. Sometimes I sleep on my left. I have to move, but I, I seem to have gotten used to not having pillows on my, um, on my, under my knees. So now it's time to go to bed. I usually have all the lights off, but I don't. Let me see. Oh, yeah, make that a little bit nicer. So what I do is let's pretend like it's night time. All the lights are off. Now, usually lately I've been having the two two blankets. I just take one of these pillows. I get this ready. One of these pillows. And I kind of fold it over because I love pillows. As I've gotten older, it just seems like they they help. Um, uh, I don't know, for my arm. So I can kind of pull it in and hang my arm over it. And this is how I sleep. Pretend like all the lights are off. Okay. And I'm sleeping. Sometimes I turn and I turn over or sometimes I lay on my back. But I sleep very well. Now, there we go. What do you think? I love it. Now, my foot is a little bit... Whoops, I just kind of kicked up. Thing. My foot is in that one little area. I told you it goes in between. It's about that far when I'm laying on my side. No big deal. Okay, so the alarm's going off. <laughs> Let's put this all back together. I'll let you see it. It's very easy. Okay. Get up. Now, I keep my one pair of pants, my um, Sherpa, Sherpa pajama bottoms. If it's really cold out, I want to get dressed up. Usually my top, I have a um, like a micro uh, a fleece shirt on. I just don't like to sleep with anything on my legs. I like my legs to be bare. Okay, so I got my, put my pants on, the ones over here. Now I have to build this back up again, right? So the first thing I do is I fold my blanket. It's very, I've gotten so used to it. It's not easy folding a large blanket in this little teeny space. But I've got it down, folks. You just get used to it. I'll show you how easy this is. There we go. Flip it around go. I've been doing this for five years. I've got this down pat. Pretty good at folding a blanket. Sometimes it doesn't come out totally perfect all the time, but that's okay. Fold it over. Here we go. And it goes up there very nicely. Let me see. See, now I'm going to start building. I love... I'm kind of a neat freak. I always have been. I am an OCD neat freak. I'm a germaphobe. <laughs> so now I'm going to put my pillows back up in the order that I brought them down. And I kind of shake them out. There we go. Straighten them out. Put it up there. It's the other one. And I wash my sheets and pillowcases once a week. And then here's my big pillow. It's kind of a thick, it's for side sleepers. And I do like to have my head up a little bit because um, I, in the past I've had um, uh, acid reflux. So I wanna make sure that I'm up just a little bit. When I park my van, I make sure, cause my head is over here, this would be back. I don't mind if I'm a little bit up at the back of the van as it's, you know, so it's not just always flat. That brings me up also. Okay, so I've got these on. 
Now I want to bring that blanket over so I can cover it and make it look nice. This probably takes more time because I want to pull it out all the way and make it look nice. Some of you who aren't clean or neat neatniks might say, boy, she goes to a lot of trouble. But it makes me feel better during the day to just sit it in a nice, attractive, you know, aesthetics. Aesthetics are important to me. Okay, so I've got this over. It looks pretty good. Okay, these pillows kind of move over to the side. For now, I'm going to take up I'm going to take up, take off my sheet, and I just roll it up and bunch it up. There we go. Easy peasy, right? There we go. I just roll it up. There's no sense in folding it. It's impossible to fold. What I do is I take it. and it goes in the middle here. I just shove it in there. If I can't see it, there we go. Now I'm gonna roll up my sleeping bag. Again, I've been doing this for years. Lean over, fold it up all the way. Okay, there we go. Easy. Grab my strings. Bring it around. Just tighten the bow. Kind of pull tight, tighten the bow so it doesn't fall out. Fall, you know, stays rolled up. Same thing over here. And you can see this does not take any time at all. Now I'll show you how I get this back in. This edge is over here. Let's kind of get it started. And then I use my feet and I push it in. First you gotta give it a good push. There we go. Pushed it in. And then what I do is I kind of work it a little bit, make sure that it's in there nice. And they're nice. Now see this first tab up here? That's what I'm gonna bungee this to. My next step is I bungee, I clip it to the edge of my first dresser, the top edge. Take the bungee around, bring it down. You can't see me do it, but Clipped it to this little string here. There we go. Kind of work this. Make it look nice. Okay. There we go. Put my dog back up. This. It's the only dick. <laughs> it's my little stuffed animal. Now, what I do also, this is a habit of mine, is if I have, like, dirty clothes, you know, like my underwear from yesterday that I took off last night when I washed, or a top that I'm not going to wear anymore, I take it and I sort of park it under the bungee right there. That way, when I go around to the back and I'm getting things together, I just kind of reach in and grab it and put it with my laundry. Well, <laughs> what do you think, everybody? Yeah, this is how I do my my bedding. This is my bed. And the lights aren't, let me turn this off. Yeah, you don't see that so much. It kind of blends in. I just had these really lights on. I wanted you to see what I was doing. But usually I don't have such... Um, you know, spotlights going on in my van. So there you go. That is my no-build bed. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I wanted to show this to you. I've got uh, only got two left. This is called Crimson and Clover. Nice for winter. Nice winter colors. I only have two left. These are the most comfortable neck gaiters in the planet. They're stretchy. You can take them off easy, but they go right back. You can turn any shirt into a turtleneck. And if you want, you can turn it into, let's see if I can do this, a hair tie, kind of pull your hair back. It's a nice hair tie. You could, some people actually are using them for a hair tie around your hair or, I mean, or a headband. Um, they're just, they're a lot of fun. And I think they're very fashionable. So the Crimson and Clover, if you go on minivanlee.com and just I'll scroll down just a bit and find the neck gaiters, go in and it'll be right there. Crimson and Clover. And then you can see the other products that I have. I have exercise videos and I have gifts if you want to give me a gift. I have all types of amounts. Um, I spend a lot of time on my videos, so this is my job. And if you want to help me out, um, keep my travels going and keep me going in videos, instructional videos. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Till tomorrow. Bye.